Yo, alright, hold up. There was somebody that helped Himiko. Alright, hold up, hold up. Well, I have some time. Actually, wait, can I, like, pause? Can I, like, pause? Uh, oh, I can't. Um, Angie helped set up the gym with Himiko. Angie was the first one to start accusing somebody to draw the intention away from, uh, herself. She has not been brought up as a suspect, despite the fact that she absolutely should have at this point. No! No! I really wanted her to be it. Dang it! Oh. Do you think that person really made the mechanism in the gym? I thought it was, like, because she actually, like, helped set up the gym and, like, hasn't been put on blast for any of it at all. Dang it. I was wrong. Oh, well, now I have no idea. Now it's just gonna be a blind guess. Uh, just because of the- of what happened in the first chapter, uh, I'm just gonna assume that maybe it's the person closest to me, but I feel like it's not at this point. Alright, cool, cool. Someone mentioning they went to the gym. Um... I mean... Kurumi mentioned she was there for, like, like five minutes. Is it her? It has to be you. Okay. Interesting. There's one more thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Interesting. All right, she did say that she went to the gym. Um, I, she could have done it at nighttime. I, I don't know. How is there enough stuff for us to know without the guiding clue about somebody else saying that they went to the gym? Uh, I don't know that I would have gotten this. This does not. I, I, I'll wait as more things are revealed. I do not feel I was given enough information to accurately make this this guess. I think I got kind of lucky and I got a leading clue of, oh, somebody else mentioned it going to the gym. Maybe you should try to select them. And that was the only way I got this. So I feel very underwhelmed if this is the case, which I suspect it is because uh, they did the whole year of the suspect. And now we probably spend the next rest of the class trial um, learning like why and whatnot. Me? What? K Kirumi? Kirumi is the culprit. It's really funny if Kurumi is the culprit because of what I said about the, the research lab being the only one that we are allowed to explore without having any bearing on the story. Um, which now I'm worried if that's the case moving forward because, like, I don't know, can I always use that as a way to figure out who killed? I doubt it. It'll be that simple. That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. Mm. The wrong choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. All right, well, let's see. I have a feeling that we have some, some stuff to point it in her direction somehow. Check me to agree. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed at nighttime. Alibis for yesterday. An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. I believe you're right. Evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Uh, Thin has a nice body. She and Ryoma could have totally shared an inner tube. We hmm. are, except perhaps going to. I don't know. To force Kurumi to implicate herself, my logic has to be airtight. Oh gosh, I have no idea. All right, cool. The crime was insect meet and greet. And you have no alibi, do you? Ah. Uh. I believe most of us do. Okay, I'm just gonna start shooting randomly at this point. The others do not have alibis either. And I oh, believe God. she's right. I of course am not uh, the crime was committed at night time. Alibis for yesterday. I believe most of us do not have I think she's right, but I'm just gonna shoot this just to kind of get this point out of the way. So it's definitely not, it's definitely not this. Cause I don't think any of the other ones would, would matter. So let's move on to the next bullet point. <laughs> All right, so nobody has an alibi. 
evidence that proves you're the culprit. I Do you think we would don't think I have anything to shoot at that. The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Skilled enough. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. I I literally have no idea. Oops. Maybe like done by anyone. It has to be something that's like specifically her. We all could have, except perhaps Gonz. I have no idea. I of course am not the culprit. Um. Was committed at night time. You have no alibi, do you? Anything in the Monokuma file? An alibi for an I believe most of us do not have one. I have no idea. Uh. I have no idea. I have literally no idea. Uh, well, this is definitely where I die here because I have no idea. I of course am not the culprit. I don't think lying here is like the answer. Maki alone. Dude, I have no idea. Maki was standing guard in front of her lab right last night. She stayed in her dorm room only during nighttime. Okay. Uh, there's the the Monokuma file. Drowning, piranhas. Is the, do the piranhas have anything to do with like why she would have access to that? I don't think so. Uh, and what's the other one? The insect meet and greet. Uh, five minutes to nine p.m. Left the lab at nine p.m. So I don't think the insect meet and greet. If they, if Ryoma was alive after midnight, then this shouldn't matter for any of them. So. I don't know. Alibi for nighttime. Alibis for yesterday. Uh, from eight to eleven. This was Kurumi from nine to ten. A little before nine. With Himiko and Angie. So she was all right. So she was alone for around five minutes. Okay, do the alibis have anything to do with anything? Uh, dude, I have no idea. Is it just because she was the only one that was in the gym alone? No, the only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's so weird. It's like, I feel like the answers are like are there, but like, I, I'm not feeling very satisfied with the answers I'm getting uh, from this game. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. Yeah. That could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. That makes sense. That makes sense. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only like five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. So, Angie, Himiko, and Kirumi were all like in the gym together. Gonta came by, only got Himiko and Angie, and just like let Kirumi stay there. And then Kirumi was just there for five minutes, like setting up a murder despite the fact that three people knew she was there she outwardly said she was there by herself uh, this is starting to sound way less and less like the perfect crime and more like she was kind of just stupid enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank this is my selfless devotion okay cool while i do understand where you are coming from i assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Alright, another rebuttal showdown. Uh oh the fabric. It's only the rope and partition. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that, however. The crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the bats to conform to your misguided narrative. Oops, it's supposed to be that way. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, 
Your entire case falls apart. Okay, I advanced. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. Now with that rope. Oh gosh. It is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window, but there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. I have to prove I use the rope. Sorry, I was. Oh no. I thought she was actually. How do how do I know that she was there? I'm referring to the rope. Uh, test that cable. Now with that rope. Oh, mark window frame. It is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. I'm trying to go up this way. There is no evidence to indicate this had happened. Okay, okay. Cut through your words. <laughs> I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym in the lab. Oh, is that what those marks are for? Oh no, that's the. When the rope was tied to the window. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Oh yeah, that's true. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Oh, what's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Is Kirumi quiet? Cause, cause that's what happened. That's what it sounds like. Please answer us, Kirumi. Shuichi is doing this for your sake. If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that because I must do this for everyone. Hmm. For everyone. I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. I I was starting to get vibes that like Kurumi definitely would be somebody that would like kill just to be like, oh, I can't let anybody else be a a, a culprit, so I'm going to step in and fill that role. But I didn't feel like enough had happened in the story to justify someone needing to fill that role yet. Um, so again, this, uh, I don't know, this, this is kind of feeling a little underwhelming to me. I don't know if I'm the only one to feel that way, or... They won't forgive me if I do. They? Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what does she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Am, am I wrong? Is Kurumi innocent? No, I, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi, who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, felt like you weren't talking about us. Did, is Kurumi one that got like her own moto video and so she saw it and then just like is killing for the sake of whoever's waiting for her? It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. That would make a little bit more sense. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Ooh. Hey. Do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? That's what I'm starting to think. Huh? The motive video? Yeah. You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. What? Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Oh, okay, so it is us. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me. But I will not allow any of you to die. Hmm. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to. Kirumi. She, wow. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else. She's doing a really good job convincing me that it's not, but just gameplay wise, I'm just, I'm, is there going to be another like, oh, actually this is the real culprit? Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. Gunta just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She 
Miss Tree did us so well. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Mm. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. That is true. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Uh. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe we should think it over one more time. I made a promise. I don't know. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for Shuichi to just be like, no, this is 100% it. And then that just starts to really close the case. Detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede. So I'm not turning back now. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of the friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it. So you still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am... No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. Okay. I realized it when we determined that the rope wake was used to move... It's that body. fabric. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope wake, then the final clue falls into place. Yeah. A part of me still wanted it to be someone else because I feel like it would be more satisfying. The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Don't you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't save anyone. Hmm. And we're now so I'm confident I'm right. I want to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. Uh, where's it at? Uh, I'm assuming this. This is it. Yep, okay. Dang. Yeah, I don't know. This just feels not very satisfying. It's like, Karumi is doing a great job of being like, no, you're wrong. Like, please believe me. And she sounds very sincere about it. And so, like, usually when you're accusing somebody that actually is the culprit, there's, like, a little bit of, like, you can kind of tell they're just doing a bad job covering up for, for themselves. But, like, Karumi is, like... Not doing that at all. She seems very genuine. Um, and the fact that she's not, it just makes it all the weirder. I don't know. I feel like I should like this more, but I feel so underwhelmed by this. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first. But I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Because, like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? Because it fell in the pool. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. Mm. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Yeah, so what? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Kirumi, why are you... Yeah, now she's starting to kind of break a little bit. <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What truth? That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. All right, I guess she knows that. But all right, finding out how the black uh, fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I'll make it all clear now. Argument, armament. Hey, let's go. You are 
incorrect. Oh, I was supposed to hold that? Oh, I see. Just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. You are incorrect. Um, wait, how do you mean miss? That is just your empty I see. You continue to confuse everyone. Oh, okay. Oh, we're already here. Oh, here we go. Everyone's life is at stake because of your self-righteous truth. Uh huh. Ooh, oh, that's supposed to be a hold. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Uh, dude, I'm doing so bad at this. It feels like. Everyone I missed that died. one. In this class trial. Dude, I'm so everyone's early at those. At uh. I understand your reasoning. But I will never accept it. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wrong button. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. We only wish to protect Okay. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Finally got one. I completely understand your reasoning. Uh-oh, I missed that one? It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. You are only providing us with speculation. We only wish to protect everyone. What? I forgot to hold. So bad at this. I'm about to win, I think. There we go. Final blow. What does that piece of trash prove? Uh, Kirumi's gloves. It ends here. Nice. Oh, whoa, okay. Wow, we've really taken away all of your armaments, huh? The piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. <gasps> Kirumi's glove? If the culprit were slowing their descent <clears throat> by grabbing the rope with their hands... That would hurt. There would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. But she doesn't have to worry about that. The culprit was smart. They weren't burned. Because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... And it fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi, right? I believe that is correct. The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we are wearing now. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. Well, Kirumi... That's the one thing she doesn't have an argument for. Will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your glove? Huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Uh, probably because she just killed somebody. She's about to die. Kirumi, what's wrong? <laughs> the end. I'm um, just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. So that means that someone has to be sacrificed, but Kaede was scared too. Didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it and kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Closing argument. Alright. Alright, let's let's do this. Uh oh gosh. Um what do I how do I how do I get to the stock again? How do I what are the controls? Uh, select panel on this. Okay. So we have carry the rope, friction on the glove, a better tube, handcuff victim, uh, metal piranhas didn't eat. I don't think this is it, but. Oh, wait, we're at the start and then this. Uh, that's a glass pane. I don't think we have that. Alper took from the gym? Uh, carry the rope. I don't know. What is this? It was, uh, rope was tied. Oh, here we go. Here's the handcuff victim. Okay. So we have a new thing. We have the gym's window frame and rope. I think that was bright. Oh, right over here, right? 
Yeah, the the gym so window frame. Okay. Uh, all right. What's over this way now? What was taken from the pool? I don't think so. Uh, body on the ropeway. That was the inner tube. Correct. No. Okay. Sure. I guess that not it all right whatever uh friction on the glove cool cool now what's this one prana tank lid okay what's this where's the body carry to uh, uh what is the stop right one swing in the tank oh gosh I don't know. I don't know how any of this fits. Was taken from the pool? I mean, was the inner tube taken from here? Okay. Alright, so now we have a new thing. Metal handcuffs in the water. Let's see. Was we'll used to partition the piranha tank. I guess... I guess that could be the piranha tank lid? Okay. What is this saying? The thin and long item the culprit took from the gym. No. What's this? Uh, metal handcuffs in the water. Okay, so then now we're down to piranha sw swarming the... Swarming in the tank. Carry the rope. And then one more that still needs to unlock. So... I guess the rope? Okay, and then the last one is... Oh, the hanged inner tube. That's different from the inner tube as a, as a clue. Okay. And then uh, the last one here. Where was the body carried to? What? Is there more? What? How? This is the oh, the piranha swarming. Where was it carried to? In the piranha. Right, right. Duh. I'm so dumb. The victim's body was found this morning <coughs> the underwater escape act. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranhas swarming around him. Yep. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. That's still a crazy thing that they decided to do. Where did these piranhas come from? We never got that answered. Why were there piranhas here? That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. In truth, the crime began last night, around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. Oh, I'm just kind of like like waiting for this to like play out. It's just like I I'm, I'm just constantly thinking about how underwhelmed I am by this class trial and by this reveal. Just because I I still don't feel like I was given enough information beforehand to like really make this, and it's just like part of part of the enjoyment of like Danganronpa is like being able to sort of at least feasibly be able to figure out who the culprit was before the trial. And this game, it feels like they're just consistently not giving you nearly enough clues for you to even have a chance. I could have guessed a literally anybody before the trial started, and, like, I'm, there's no reason why I, I should have felt confident or not confident about it. And I think that really sucks. Even having all this information, I'm just like, how would you have guessed Kurumi before this? How sort of my weird meta-reasoning of Kurumi's um, research lab hasn't been used for story purposes, so, like, if they're not gonna reveal it in the future, they could reveal it now because she's not gonna be around after. That's, like, a weird meta-reason that has nothing to do with anything. Um... But, like, I don't know. There's no real th thing that she did either before or during the investigation that really seemed to 
point anything in her direction. I don't even think she was one of the people helping out set up with Himiko's things. I might be wrong about that, but it's like, I don't think she did. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. At nighttime, past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. Then, okay. The pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. Yeah, so all the setup with the rope and everything was done, like, while people could have been out walking around and whatnot, because, like, the rope had to be tied from one end, had to go into the pool to tie to the other rope, had to go from up here. It's like, Karumi was doing a lot of walking around all over the place trying to set this up. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. With a weapon that was never found, interestingly enough. Then they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. From the water and the pain of drowning. Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. Yeah, that makes sense. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. I'm so interested to hear, like, the why from Karumi, and if it's just as simple as, like, oh, I wanted to kill so you guys didn't have to, or if there was something involving the mode of video or what. They removed the Probably that. And hung it from the window facing the pool. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. Okay, a lot of the stuff done, was done after uh, Ryoma was killed. That makes, that's what I thought, and I was like, that makes more sense. It seems so much more risky to be doing that all beforehand um after makes a little more sense because how many people are up wandering around at midnight that are going to see you they return to the lab after picking up one last thing the rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed once back in the lab the culprit pulled the cable bringing up the rope. They pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. Crazy. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. Uh, telling us that she was alone and in the gym. Uh, <laughs> dropping uh, the glove. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. I still feel like that would have hurt even with gloves on, honestly. 
had the culprit not been wearing gloves? But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. Part of me thinks we should have just sucked it up and just like gone to the pool instead of the magic show and gotten that fabric. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together they concealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube, but that's when they made their second mistake. Also, did they like jump down? They jumped down into the pool area from like the, the gym window. That looks like a pretty high drop. And the inner tube dropped into the pool. Well, I guess there was nothing that she could do. The culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence. The fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. Yeah, you got caught by some rules. And that's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? I feel like you are not going to be wrong. All right, well... That is something. Kirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? All right. Unfortunately, uh, as we are right now, uh, I am on a bit of a time crunch. I have somewhere that I need to be. So I actually have to end off this episode now uh, in the middle of it, which I should be able to do. Okay, cool. I was like, as long as I can reach this uh, this this menu and I can save. Um, yeah, I, uh, I just wish there was a little bit more at clues that could have pointed to her ahead of time just to give me a real chance to actually like real guess that she was here i'll wait for the explanation to really get a sense as to like how i feel it seems like it might just be related to her moto video um if it's not if it's really like oh i killed for everyone else's sake then it's just like i feel like not enough time went by for something like that and i don't know that the the proper setup was put into into, into place um but outside of that this trial's fine i just i guess i felt like I, you know, wanted a little bit more out of it, but I don't really know what more I wanted. Um, also, I guess I'm just getting more upset because, like, I feel like there's so few characters that I am really enjoying in this game. Um, and so all the ones that keep living are also the ones that continue to annoy me more and more. So Karumi had never annoyed me at any point. So it's just like, oh, man, she's gone and Ryoma's gone, which are two characters that, like, didn't annoy me ever. So yeah, I'm just going to be left with a bunch of annoying characters I don't like, and it sucks. So hopefully some of these characters get better, but I I don't know. I kind of feel like the ones that are going to live are the ones that I like the least. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but that are my those are my current thoughts right now, and we'll finish up the the class trial another day. So uh, hopefully uh, you know y'all enjoy this. Uh, let me know your thoughts and your thoughts and my thoughts, and I will see you all the next time. So until then, peace out.